So today we're actually, we're kind of wrapping up this, this section, uh, this kind of this, the, the first big section, but the second section of the book of Concord. The first one was the creeds and, and we just finished walking through the Augsburg confession. And today we're, we're going to kind of step in the conclusion. What, what the conclusion essentially said is, so these last few articles have been the ones that are disputed, the ones that people are arguing against people that, uh, the ones that there's a lot of division. So for, for the first however many, um, the undisputed articles, I guess we, we would call them, um, most people are on the same page. And, he, you know, uh, the divinity of God, the divinity of Christ, the, his role, what he did, kind of the definitions of sin. A lot of those, I, there's still a little bit of differences between different uh, different entities, different denominations, but... By and large, Christianity is on the same page with a lot of this stuff. And then the last, it's saying these last ones have been the ones that are disputed and we've kind of put our, our we've clarified our beliefs on these issues. And then it concludes with kind of the signature of these different, um, these, these different people who were putting their names on it. And that is uh, the Duke of Saxony, Margrave of Brandenburg, I I don't know what that role is. I, the Duke of, of Lundberg, Landgrave of Hesse, uh, Prince of Anhalt, the mayor, mayor and council of Nuremberg, and the mayor and council of Rutlingen. I, I can't even tell you if I'm pronouncing any of those names right. Um, but so they put their name on it and they kind of conclude. And we're... With today's devotion, we're, we're concluding and we're, we're finishing this first article. And I, I kind of want to set up for what we're going to start next week uh, or with the next devotion if you're maybe on a different schedule than these are coming out with. Um, next week, we start the apology to the Augsburg Confession. And what I want to clarify, because next week we're just going to kind of jump into it, is apology isn't, you know, when we say you need to make an apology it's we need, you need to say sorry like you need to show that you're you're sorry for you're penitent for whatever you've done um when they say apology they mean a defense so the apology for the augsburg confession goes through and it defends and explains and and brings a lot of um support to bear for kind of how how we have come down on these various issues so uh, when, when I say apology to the Augsburg Confession, think more in line with maybe apologetics than, um, than you're thinking we're sorry. Like they're not, they're not saying we're sorry for what we believe. They're not saying that. Um, they're definitely not saying that. They're saying we stand by this and here's why. So that's what we have to look forward to. We, we kind of just finished up the... Uh, the Augsburg Confession, and at very least a sketch. So what we're going to do now is we'll dive into it, and we'll dive into especially some of these harder topics a little bit deeper um, and, and talk a little bit more about why we believe that and, and how it impacts us today. So that's what we have to look forward to. A pretty quick, easy one today is kind of just a bridge devotional. Um, but if you have comments, if you have questions, drop them below. Uh, or obviously you can always reach out to me individually and uh, whatever the case, brothers and sisters, go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.